So Warren Buffett bought Taiwan Semiconductor and the stock shot up 33%, which is insane. It was a surprise to everyone because people thought Warren Buffett was avoiding China as he hasn't bought Baba or Tencent while his partner Charlie Munger did. We're going to dive into this question because there is actually a lot to unpack with this company. What can we find out about TSM that would actually make us buy this stock? Because we have to understand this business. We got to find the moat. We got to find out, see if the price is accurate or see if it's a good price right now. We got to dive into it. So let's get into this video right now. Taiwan Semiconductor is a foundry company that actually uses raw wafers and turns them into chips. A lot of these companies that you see like Apple, like Nvidia, they just design the chips, but they outsource all of that manufacturing to companies like Taiwan Semiconductor. And the thing about Taiwan Semiconductor is that they are so dominant. They own around 50% of the revenue of the manufacturing of semiconductors, which is insane. I think this is one of the main reasons why Warren Buffett bought TSM because the moat is just so dominant they own over 50 percent of this market and they're just the leading edge in the semiconductors they're always on time they have a good customer network they produce for apple nvidia qualcomm all of these damn companies so they're just doing all the right things and they're just the leading edge in this technology sphere the global semiconductor market is supposed to expand like 12 percent kegger over the next kind of five to 10 years, which provides a perfect economic ground for TSM right now. And the companies that are trying to catch up like Samsung, like Intel, like UMC, they're still trying to catch up to the process on how TSM designs its chips, the three nanometer that's coming to market. The other players are just trying to play catch up to them, like even Intel. Intel was actually more dominant than TSM. They keep fumbling and not being able to produce the chips that they say they're gonna produce. That's how TSM caught up. And ever since then, it's just been dominant because they produce and they stay consistent. This quarter, 41% of the revenue actually came from smartphones. So are we gonna be worried about that into the future? But I don't think that's such a war because Apple is still dominant. The market for semiconductors is booming from cars to phones to data centers. Everywhere you look around, the semiconductor market is going to boom. So even though the smartphone sector takes up 41% of the revenue and Apple is their main customer, if you see Apple kind of falling off, you might have to be worried about TSM because Apple is their main customer and they're providing so many damn chips to Apple. We have Apple as one of their main customers, says 22%, which is insane. So if something happens to Apple, TSM is going down with it. Then we have MediaTek, Qualcomm. So you can see everything else is around 5%, but Apple is just the leading customer right now. So we might have to be worried about that. It's probably a little bit of an asterisk, but other than that, TSM is still the market leader. So the one thing about TSM that you're going to make sure before you make an investment in this company is that you are secure with management always coming up with good designs and making sure they're doing the right thing to produce the next big product. They're having good efficiency doing that. They're making sure these products get to market at a good time because if it doesn't, companies are going to look elsewhere to different foundries to get those chips that they need for their product. So you have to make sure TSM is doing all the right things. They're making a $40 billion investment in Arizona. So you actually have to worry kind of about the investments that they make because is that actually a good thing? Because when they build that Arizona chip manufacturer, it's going to be behind compared to other companies. So you have to worry about that. It's looking to expand in Germany. So you can kind of look at that as a good thing or a bad thing at this moment. But you got to do your own research to make sure that TSM will not fall off in the next five to 10 years. I'm not 100% sure it will keep its market edge, but I'm pretty sure in the next five years it will. But you have to look at their capital investments and look at what they're doing with their money to make sure that you are in line with what they're doing. So Taiwan Semiconductor's revenue has been growing around 13 to 15% in the last like five to 10 years. Same with earnings. Earnings has been growing around 13 to 15% in the last five years. So you can kind of see that being very, very steady. And it's a good bet for Warren Buffett. Same with the balance sheet. The balance sheet is amazing. It has enough cash to pay off all its debt. So that's not a worry. Has a good ROE, ROA. For the assets that it has on the balance sheet, it's actually making a good return. So that's a plus. But now we're gonna look at the price to see if it's in our buy range or if it's actually a good buy. So when I think about the valuation of TSM, I think about buying the whole company because that's exactly what Warren Buffett thinks about when he purchases a whole company. So right now you can purchase the whole company of TSM for $380 billion. 
selling at a 13 PE is giving you a 2% dividend yield, which is actually pretty good. I didn't think it was going to give you a dividend yield, but it does. So that's amazing. On top of that, you're getting $9 billion in free cash flow because TSM is a capital intensive business. So they had to keep up with new investments in the manufacturing process of the semiconductors and building out new chips and building out new plants. So that's always going to have an effect on the free cash flow. So you're getting around a 2%, 3% yield on that. But with a 3% yield and then a 2% yield on the dividends, it's not that compelling. It's at a 5% yield. Right now, a government bond is giving you around 5%. So it's not incredibly attractive. But when you think about the growth of the industry, that's when it becomes more compelling. But you have to wait up a little bit because 2023 might be bad for the semiconductors in, in the first few quarters. So maybe we can buy that at a cheaper price. But if you don't, this is still a great stock. If you're thinking about a 50% return, it's actually selling at a great price. If you are assuming the company can grow earnings at 10% yearly. But with that being said, I think Taiwan Semiconductor is an amazing business, a strong moat, which is, I think, the main reason why Warren Buffett bought this company. With the semiconductor business projected to grow around 10 to 12% in the next 10 years, so you don't have to worry about the economics of the business being strong. Plus, at a good price right now because of all the China worries of Taiwan and the fight between them. So, I think this is a good price right now. Guys, what are your thoughts on TSM? I think it's a great company, strong moat, good management. But what are your thoughts on it? Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Peace.